Hello everybody, I'm Mackenzie and I am passionate about one thing in my life and that's you. You creating powerful and positive change in your life. The last few days I've been thinking quite a bit about motivation. Motivation is something most of us struggle with. Have you ever been laying in bed early in the morning, you're under the covers and it's so warm and toasty you don't want to get up? Or you're sitting on the couch in the afternoon watching your favorite television show and this thought crosses your mind. I should be doing something else. Or maybe you think to yourself, I could be using this time more productively. We've all had that moment. Getting motivated can be a struggle. And I know probably the night before you were thinking to yourself, tomorrow I'm going to knock everything off my to-do list. I'm going to get so much done. And when, the mo and when the moment rolls around, poof, it's gone. Your motivation has vanished. It's nowhere to be found. I'm here to tell you that's completely normal. Most of us struggle with getting motivated. We look at people that are motivated and think, oh, I wish I had that. The truth is it's so much easier to stay in bed or stay on the couch because there's no chance of failure, no chance of being judged, and you don't have to do the work to create change in your life. I know for most of my adult life, I struggled with this issue. I felt like a failure and I self-abused because I couldn't get motivated. Today, I want to share with you four quick fixes I use when I'm struggling to find my motivation. Excuse me, maybe this is what I want to do with my life. That's fine. You can stay there. Just don't come complaining to me when you're not getting any results. Really? The first thing I want you to do, now this is going to sound really simple, but it's actually one of the most difficult things we do. I want you to shut off that TV or turn off the video game or put your devices aside. These things are actually quite addictive. Every time we pass a level or start a second episode, you know, we get a rush of dopamine. And dopamine is like a drug for us. What happens is we say, oh, just one more, and one more turns into two or three, and before we know it, we've wasted an entire day. We're watching somebody else live their lives while we're allowing ours to pass us by. So the first thing I want you to do is turn it off. Just one more episode? I recommend you turn it off. Fine. I don't see why you always get to be the grown-up. The second thing you can do if you're trying to get motivated is to turn on some music that gets you moving. I know for me personally, one of the first things I do in the morning when I get up is turn on some of my favorite pop songs. This is just the thing to get me up and moving. And another thing is it puts me in a great mood and gets my day off to an amazing start. So if you like music, turn on some music that gets you motivated. Another thing it does for me is if I need to get a little house cleaning done or get the dishes done, if I turn on some good music, I can get that stuff done in no time flat. Now, maybe music isn't your thing. So a third thing you can try is to find some motivational material you like to listen to. There is videos all over YouTube that would work for this. Of course, you could always come and watch this video again. Or maybe you have a book with some favorite inspirational or motivational passages you could use. Take a few minutes, pause what you're doing, and read or listen to something to get you motivated. The fourth thing you can try if none of this is working, get yourself a motivational partner. One of the things I've learned recently is that my friends can get me motivated like nobody else. Now, of course, you have to choose somebody who's excited about you and what you have going on in your life. Recently, I posted on Facebook that I wasn't having such a good day, and immediately a friend posted, hey, call me. So I called my friend, and within about 20 minutes, she had me so excited about what I had going on, I got off the phone and got everything done I needed to get done. So if you're struggling, get yourself a motivation partner. One of the most important things to you getting what you want out of life, to you having the things that you want, is your ability to self-motivate. So figure out what works for you and utilize that anytime you don't want to get off the couch or you don't want to get out of bed. Again, my name is Mackenzie and I am passionate about you getting the life that you've always dreamed of. 
If you have a motivation tip or something that works for you that I didn't talk about today, please list it in the comments. I would love to hear about it. If you've been inspired or motivated by this video, I just ask that you click the like button. That would really help me out. Better yet, subscribe to my channel. I would be honored to walk this journey of change alongside of you. Thank you.